Hi, I'm Mr. Southall, the Head of Maths at Yate Academy, and I'm going to run through what the Maths GCSE at Yate Academy looks like. So why is maths important and what's in the course? As a core subject, GCSE Maths is a required part of the curriculum, and that means it's not an option subject, so students are going to have to take maths uh, in Year 11 as one of their GCSEs. At Yate, we aim to develop a fluency in the subject of maths and for students to understand how to solve problems that may occur in everyday situations. Students, um, as they go through school and they're taking maths, often they may have the common response such as, when am I ever going to need this again in the, in the rest of my life, when I'm doing trigonometry or Pythagoras or whatever it is which they're learning. Um, but actually that misses something really, really important. It's about the methods and tools and tactics that students have to develop in order to solve those problems, that whatever it is which they're learning in maths at the time. So students may not see those problems again in their careers or their futures, but they will have other problems and they will need to use methods and tools in order to solve these problems. And what they learn in maths is going to be really, really important to solving those problems in their futures. The topics which they're going to be studying in maths are split up into six main headings. So we have number, algebra, ratio and proportion, geometry and measure, probability and statistics. And everything in the exams in the GCSEs is going to be based on one of these six headings. So how will maths be assessed in, uh, in the GCSEs? So GCSE maths has a foundation tier, which is grades one to five, and a higher tier, which is grades four to nine. So a grade um, five is around a C GCSE, and a grade seven is broadly in line with the old A GCSE. Paper one is a non-calculated paper, and paper two and three will both be calculated papers. Students need to take three question papers at the same tier, and students will cover the six main strands uh, of maths, which we talked about in the last slide. Each paper is one hour, 30 minutes in length, and the total mark for the combined three papers will then generate that final given grade. So what can careers, um, what careers can it lead to, can maths lead to? So maths is widely recognised as a crucial subject for a wide range of career choices. And it's because of this that students who don't have a get that C grade, that grade four or five in maths are expected by law to continue studying maths with their employer or in their educational institution until they're 18 years of age. So it's a real incentive for students to work as hard as they can at their GCSEs in year 11 in order to get those really, really strong grades in maths. So a mathematical background will open the door to many employment opportunities beyond those with a specific mathematical background. So um, students who have five or more good GCSEs, including English and maths, over the course of their lifetime will, on average, earn £100,000 more than someone who doesn't have those qualifications. So by making sure they've got that good qualification in maths and in English, they're much more likely to earn more money over, the, over their career and more likely to get some of those um, other employment opportunities which they wouldn't get without that grade in maths. So some of the careers include um, engineering, medicine, vocational courses such as plumbing, engineering or hair and beauty, and also entry into some specific roles in the army, accountancy, finance, science, technology, but there's many, many more. And so many careers are really, really hoping for students to have that strong and good qualification in maths. So I hope you found this useful. And if you have any other questions about maths at Yates Academy, please email me at jsouthall at yatesacademy.co.uk. Thank you.